Hey guys, I got a new video for you today. Uh, this is going to be on a couple of the requests that I've been receiving lately. And I'm going to be trying something out um, in the next couple of videos, which is uh, just trying to couple a lot of the requests that I've been receiving into one or two videos. That way um, I try and, and get all the requests that I get in, but I don't kill myself in making multiple videos, you know, four, five, six videos. So. Uh, let me know if, uh, if you guys like that format. Uh, I'm going to try and use a couple of the different glasses for more than one uh, option. And, uh, you know, hopefully that will satisfy everybody. So, um, in this video what I'm going to do is um, I received a, uh, a request to do a video on my Oakley bottle caps. And this is from Mr. Laminin. He's interested in purchasing one of these. So, he just kind of wanted to see what it looked like. So, um, this is the pair of bottle caps that I have. This is actually a polished black frame with a titanium iridium lens. And I don't know if, if you guys have heard of this in my previous videos, but this is actually my favorite color lens from Oakley. Um, it's a brown based lens and it increases contrast, so I, I really, really like that, um, that color combination. Uh, I don't know if you guys can make it out, but at the bottom of the lens right there, it's got the word titanium etched into it. Um, this frame is very, very lightweight. Uh, and I really like this frame, uh, especially for driving. The reason for it is because it's uh, it's open at the bottom and it's very thin on the side, so it gives you good peripheral. So when you're doing your lane, your lane changes, you don't have a you know a big bulky frame kind of get in the way where you have to turn your whole head. You can actually just look out the side. So um, to me, the the way that I refer to this frame is uh, this is the grown up version of the flak jackets. The reason for it is because it's um, it's straight all the way back. There's no rubber on the ears. Um, there's no rubber on the nose either, so uh, not too good for sports, but definitely very, very nice for everyday wear. Um, very, like I said, very lightweight, very discreet. It's all this particular model, since it's the polished black, it's all blacked out, um, and it has what they call a gunmetal icon right here. Uh, very, very comfortable. And what I'll do is, uh, this is the Oakley flak jacket, and a good buddy of mine here on YouTube goes by the name of Edge Weapon 88. He's actually looking at um, purchasing a pair of flak jackets and he wasn't able to find anywhere on YouTube um, a review that um, showcased the, uh, this particular frame right here. Um, so you know I, I wanted to couple this one with that one so he can, uh, so he can see um, this is actually the plasma frame, plasma color frame with a, um, this is bronze iridium, a gold iridium, I'm sorry, gold iridium lens. And as you guys can see, it's very similar style to the um, to the bottle cap, and that's why I said this is a grown-up version of it. Um, this, you know, obviously being the more sports specific, but you got the straight legs going back, uh, very similar lens shapes, um, very 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 comfortable. Uh, the flak jacket a tad bit heavier, but that's because it's obviously designed for sports, uh, so it's it's made to be more rugged. Um, you know, it does definitely bends and twists and all that. Um, they're both uh, open at the bottom frames, so as you can see, very easy to remove the lenses if you had to. They just pop right out, uh, so if you wanted to switch the lenses out or if something happened to them, you can just pop them right back in, just like that, and um, always use the, uh, the microfiber cloth that comes with it to clean off those fingerprints. And, uh, you know, obviously, as you can see, very, very similar styles, but, you know, this is obviously more sports specific with the uh, nose pieces. So. Um, Edge Weapon 88, there you go. Uh, very, very nice frame, the plasma color. Uh, it comes with the root beer ear socks, uh, so kind of brownish, so it'll match. So, um, you know, now, now you've seen it, hopefully that'll, that'll help you out. Then um, one more request that I received is um, one of my subscribers wanted to see how um, you take out the lenses on the original 5s. And these are, uh, these are the original 5s, came out a couple years ago. And if you needed to replace the lenses, um, basically what you would do is you would hold the frame uh, lens up and just kind of give it a slight push on the, or pull on the sides. And with either one of your fingers on the bottom right here, just push up and the lenses just pop right out of the frame. All right. And when you wanted to put a new one in, you just um, slide one of the ends in and then just pop the other end in just like that. And your lens is in there. So hopefully that answered um, that answered your question as far as how to how to switch out the lenses. Um, you know it's very very easy. The the biggest thing is getting over the fear that you're going to break the frame or break the lens. Uh, if you had to do the other side, same difference. You know there you go. And when you go to put it in, just slide one in and the other one. 
And again, this is uh, the original fives. This is in a crystal red frame with a VR28 lens. Uh, a little bit smaller, um, more narrow frame, but definitely very comfortable, very lightweight. So I figured I'd do a quick little show there of, of this one since I have it on camera now. So guys, uh, let me know if you like this format. Um, I think it's a lot easier just to do um, you know, a couple requests in one video than having to maybe bore you guys with, with multiple videos. So uh, I'm going to be trying out this uh, in the next couple of videos. And let me know if you like it. If you don't like it, you know, definitely give me the, give me the feedback. Um, you know, like I said, I'm trying to, to you know, get all the requests that I get you know, for, um, from people because I know that you know, this definitely influences your purchasing um, options. So uh, let me know if you like it. All right, guys? Thanks.